Cuckoo, how do we play it? Um, first thing we want to do, I got my handy tuner here to tell you all exactly where I'm at. Uh, the, act, the, you know, the tuning, the relative tuning is G, D, G, C, D. A lot of people call that sawmill tuning or mountain modal. Um, I, if I had to refer to it by a name, I would call it pretty poly tuning because to me that's the song that most pops out in that tuning. <laughs> So I'm a G, D, G, C, D, but I'm a good deal lower than that, where I'm actually exactly at F, C, F, B flat, C. And B flat and A sharp are basically the same thing, so I could say I'm at F, C, F, A sharp, C. So how do we do it? Um, I guess there's there's several different ways you can do it, of course, like any song, but there seems to be a wide variety of, of versions for this song. I think the most, the most noted version is probably the one that uh, Tom Ashley recorded, I believe back in the 20s or 30s, originally. So uh, you can either, you can start the song out either on the low part or on the high part, you know. Um, so let's let's start with the easiest stuff first, which is the low part where you, where you're singing the singing part. So all this is So you kind of hold the first hold the second string with your index finger hold it at the second fret. So second string at the second fret. That gives you this little full chord, which you're gonna often go back home to in this and other pieces. And then you start it out by noting the bass string at the third fret. And I like to give it a little bend. Oh, the cuckoo. I do lots of bends because to me, this low singing part is so plain. I like to really fill in behind the singing with these heavy bends and lots of heavy brushes to fill in behind my singing. That's how I like to do it. So, so holding the second string at the second fret, take your middle finger and note that bass string at the third. And then you're gonna, after you hit note that and do your little bend if you want to, you're gonna go to the third string open. Well the, well the, and then you're gonna note the third string at the third fret to get that cuckoo. So, well the cuckoo, and then so you note the bass, then at the at the third fret, then go to the third string open, then you're gonna note the third string at the third, and then you're gonna play the third string open. That's how you get that opening part, and you've already said the cuckoo, the cuckoo, and then you do it again. She's a fine bird. Then you're going to bring it up a little bit higher. So note the third string at the third fret. Then take your second finger up off the second string. You take your index finger up off the second string and, and play that second string open. Whoa, she. Then I like to do a hammer back onto the second string. Whoa, she sings. And then you see what I did there? I did a hammer back on the bass string at the third fret. Oh, she sings as she flies. And you're just going to do this over again. She brings us 
you don't have to do it exactly that way. There's lots of room to um, do some different things in there. Um, you'll notice that um, my favorite version, of course, is George Gibson's, and I try to emulate a lot of his licks when I play it. So in between a lot of that, you're, you're do I'm doing bluesy, bluesy licks, and you can slow um, you know, his video that I on my channel, I have a video and a, an audio recording of him doing it one time, and I have another short video clip of him doing it. So you can slow down that video clip and try to figure out his fingering, or you can watch some of the numerous ones that you can find of me and do the same thing. Slow it down. I think the knob is in this corner of the screen. Uh, click that little um, knob and adjust the speed and slow us down. But, you know, some of the little bluesy licks, you know. jump into the second part, the high part that, that you usually don't sing to. So that's the more tricky part, I think, where it's, you got these brushes. And there's several different ways you can do this. I think a, a great way to start out is listen to Tom Ashley's recording. His is real straightforward, I think, and pretty simple. And that's that's the version I played for the longest time. But um, but sort of, sort of what I think is the best is George's, and I'll try to show you a little bit of how he does it. Um, so he's, I think he's holding his first, his index finger, he's holding that at the second string at the second fret, and then you take your ring finger down on the first string at the third. And just, you know, practice this slow drag brush where you kind of space your fingers out like this, kind of, and start with your pinky and get all of them. And let them all slap the banjo head when, when they come off. And then once you get good at that, try to throw in your thumb. Oh, I kind of messed up. It's kind of hard to do slow, but... Um. like me, do something simplified. to get that, so it's easy to do this part. Well, that's what I'm doing, so. So then just do a basic, you know, a boom chicka stroke, bum diddy stroke after that. Off the first string. And then I'm doing um, a little, a series of um, plucks with my left, with my, with my ring finger. Simple. So I'm pulling off, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, hitting the first string, noted at the third fret, I'm doing a pull off and then immediately going back on. I call that a double note. Run you're gonna do there. 
So then you pull off on the second string at the second fret, and then you go and then note the third string at the third fret. Second string, note the third string at the third, and then you do this sharp hammer on on the second string at the end of when you, once you do your third brush through, and then it's basically it's the same sort of you end it the same way you would the the first part. Son, that second part is tricky. Don't try to do it exactly like me or George or, or even Tom Ashley. You know, just come up with what feels comfortable to you. Listen to a lot of different versions and try to come up with something. So I hope that helped you guys. If you want to do any more of this, let me know. Well, I'll, I'll try to, I can, I could keep working on this if, if you didn't quite get it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for, uh, thanks for contributing guys. And uh, you will see me again soon.